Now this is Rumu. When we planned the trip to Estonia and Russia, this is one of the places we were really, really looking forward to. We'd seen videos like these showing people having amazing fun at this underwater prison. It gave us the opportunity to do some exploring, but also have a laugh while we were at it. The places we normally explore are above water, but this one was partly underwater. We got our scuba gear, we were ready to go, and we just wanted to see what was under there. Now when we get the opportunity to go and explore an underwater prison, it's something that we have never seen before. But when do things go to plan for finders beepers? Not very often. Come and join us on this journey and you'll see what happens. Nightmare. Hi and welcome back to Finders Beepers History Seekers and this is a fucking weird one. This is echo, isn't it? It is echoey. We're in a weird structure. So we've come today to an abandoned prison. Now, it's a bit of a special one because it's underwater. And it's the sort of place you'd come on a hot sunny day and have a swim and go underwater and lark about. So we've come when it's minus one. So we thought we'll go for a, well, I don't know whether you're going to end up well, going, well, but we'll I'm see. Freezing as it is, and you're, I gonna, else. you're going to put your tiptoes in and then think, fuck it. Might but, dip my finger end in. Whereas I'm going to go in. But we, what we can see in front of us now is the other half of the prison that was used afterwards. So it was a KGB, oh, what are they called now? It's a gulag. So it's a gulag. Now, anyone, it's not a goulash. It's not something you eat. Not a Bulgarian or Hungarian No. Stew. It is the worst sort of prison you could be in. If you were in a gulag, you're fucked. You're basically going to get tortured, buggered, everything possible. So I will show you over there what we can see. And I'll also show you what we're in as well. So over in the distance there is the big, long prison wall. I'll try and zoom in for you in a minute. But yeah, the bit just there is a guard tower. Got all the buildings. Now, up over there somewhere, in the distance, we keep hearing jet planes taking off. And what have we just been listening to? Machine gun fire. Lots and lots, lots of, of machine gun fire. Heavy oh. machine gun fire yeah. at that. It's not just like someone with a machine gun. It's like someone with anti-aircraft anti guns, guns or something yeah. like that. It's crazy. So we're a little bit worried. It, Shut us both up, absolutely did. So, we're heading off down that direction there. We're actually going to make his way up there at some point as well, I think. Not directly up that bit, I don't think we've managed <laughs> that. <laughs> I think I'm getting up there, to be fair. But it's sticky, horrible, like sand, look at state. Lime's not it. It's been a nightmare getting in, as you can see. Awful. But anyway. Let's head in that direction quickly before we get caught. Let's go. Right, so that's what we were stood inside. I have no idea what that's for. That is the most ridiculous thing ever. But look at this. Oh shit, I just fell down a big hole. But yeah, so this is one of the first buildings covered in, absolutely covered in paint and graffiti. But we'll get over the edge and I'll show you properly. Right, so Andy's that cold, he's got gloves, hat, my hat, hoodie, trousers, <laughs> and I... It's freezing! It's so cold, so we've just had a look on the thing, I can't show you because Andy's internet's not working, but it's four degrees, but does it feel like four degrees? We've just had a look, it says, it feels like minus one. So, look at this. How amazing is this? So underneath here is the prison I was talking about, the underwater prison. 
for a start look at this how cool are these that is amazing now we wanted to come here on a lovely warm sunny day like i was saying to come and check this out go for a swim but it looks beautiful look at that building it would be brilliant it's summer yeah coming and checking it out like swimming and everything it'd be brilliant it's just an odd color the water's such an odd color isn't it it's like a really odd blue tinge to it. Is it the water or is it just the underneath? Or like the... I don't know. I'm not sure. But then just over in the distance, just over there, there's another big building which is under the, like really fully under the water. So I set myself a challenge that when we came here, I was going to get onto this building here. I was going to climb up and I was going to jump off. And I don't know whether I should or not. I, you know me, I'll, I'm up for a challenge and I'm up to try anything. But am I going to get hypothermia, do we think? Yeah. I've got hypothermia and I've got this lot on. Yeah. But would I be a pussy if I didn't do it? <laughs> I don't want to say... <laughs> I'm gonna give it a go because I am. <laughs> no, I don't mind you. You're of that age that literally. You know me with cold. I yeah, hate it. you hate cold. I hate the but cold with a vengeance. My um, I... minus one out of the water, and then God knows what in there will literally give me a heart attack. I'm gonna have to trust you to film me if I do it. I'm gonna film it from here, answer. Yeah. Well, you know, no, I want you to walk into the water. Well, up I've got to your a, neck. I've got a canoe. Well, we brought the drone with us, so we've got a drone to do it. However, the app that I've got is for a different drone, so therefore I needed to download another drone app and you need Wi-Fi to do that, so I can't do that. Um, and my GoPro batteries have gone, so we're having to use the secondary one. So I'm hoping it'll be all right. So anyway, I'll leave you... <laughs> It is so cold. It hurt. My hands are hurting holding right, this. That's why I've got your hat on because I've got no air. I've got nothing to protect myself. And I'm really, really cold. <laughs> right, seriously, please. If I do this, right, I'm going to turn you around. If I do this, you need to make one person subscribe to us because I fucking deserve it. I deserve it just for getting in that water. So if I get the bottle up in a minute to do it, take all my clothes, not all my clothes off, apart from my shorts and get in you need to get us one more subscriber please do that for us look at him am i actually fucking stupid or what yes completely and utterly stupid oh i'm gonna follow me sam <laughs> which way am i best going just straight at it or from that angle um okay, just go for it See you in a minute. <laughs> oh my God. He is absolutely mental. That's going to take your breath away. Absolutely would take my breath away. I can't. It's taking my breath away. It's, it's too cold. I'm trying it. No shit, Sherlock. It's slipping. It's slipping. So I can't stay on my feet either. Oh. I've tried so hard. I can't stand up. 
like I've let everybody down. What shall I do? You bought the bottom lip will go in then. Like, yeah. like that. It's, it's quite cold in there, I'm not going to lie. But it's, it's, too, it's too cold. It's not that. When I got to here, I was okay to here, but when I got to here, I started to like, like that, I couldn't help it. And it get, when you get to about there, it goes deep enough to swim but not sand. And I'm just scared of oh, an helicopter there, look. I'm just scared that if I get to there and I start to swim and then I, I like have a mini panic or whatever and because of the cold. No. <laughs> oh, what a gay towel. Fucking hell. This feels quite nice, actually. I feel quite... Like we've done, didn't <laughs> I? I feel quite refreshed. I feel warmer now than I were when I was out here earlier in clothes. No, that's not possible. Right, so I've warmed up a little bit. Um, we are heading to see if we can get in the main bit of the prison now. Now, nobody, I, I've seen a few videos from this place and I've not seen anybody get in this other bit. So it may be impregnable, but we will try. What the fuck prisons are supposed to be? <laughs> no, you're not supposed to break out of them. You're not supposed to get into them either. Oh yeah. But why would you? Well yeah, why would you want to break into a prison really? Apart from us, stupid idiots. Um, oh, that's the third time today I bit my tongue. My mother always used to say, bite your tongue. Because she used to swear a lot. I didn't, I've never sworn in front, oh no, I've sworn in front of my mum once. And that was on my wedding day. When, when on my wedding day, when a one-eyed clown came to pick me up in a VW camper van. What sort of weird old clowns do you have at pretty weddings? He'd got one eye, honestly, no, no word or a lie. One-eyed clown came to pick me up in a VW camper van, because I used to have VW camper vans when I was younger. Um, and I was so excited, not to see the clown, to see, to see the, uh, the camper van that I swore in front of my mum and then she told me off in front but of everybody. Why would you want a clown? coming to pick you up on your wedding day? I don't think that it was, I don't think he was normally, no, I think he was normally a clown. He just was coincidence he had a camper van. And it was the camper van my dad had booked. Yeah, but why a clown? He didn't book the clown specifically, he just came as a clown. Well, surely you'd have known this beforehand, but why, why have a clown at your wedding of a kid's birthday party? Yeah, but the thing is, he made balloon animals for us as well. And I, I don't know why, as we were driving home, I was that bladdered. I popped it, I like proper went mad and started stamping on the floor and popped it. But anyway. That's not looking good, girl, raise a while. I know, it's let's, to, let's have a look. So we were saying about it being impregnable. Oh, fucking hell. Ah, my leg. Look at that for double walls, razor wire everywhere. But we are going to try around the other side, so hopefully we'll get in. But look at it over there. Look at this. <laughs> you look like you're going on on your holidays. I wish I were so we're warmer in here. <laughs> it's so cold. Actually, I'm warmer now than I were earlier when I went in water. Well, obviously, when I went in water. What is this place? It's weird. Like a little, is it a guard room thing? Can't get on that. You can. Oh, right, so we've made our way all the way up from that end over there. We managed to get behind the first lot of razor wire. And we found ourselves a nice big guard tower that we can actually get in, because the one at the other end, they've removed everything off it. So, I'll have a look up here. Ooh. These do seem quite new though, don't they? We were just saying, we, we're not sure when this was used to. Oh my God, it's huge. 
Right, we're gonna have to make a hasty retreat because just coming up here now is a army truck. And in the army truck, well, in front of the army truck, I'm gonna zoom in for you, it's a massive Alsatian. So we're gonna get down quite quick. So I wanted to show you, I will show you quickly across here. I can't hold it and walk and talk and everything. is coming quite quick and this is moving this whole structure's moving oh jesus wow we need to get out of here quite quick andy we need to get out of here relatively quickly because that is a big fat fucking hairy dog and he's now going to start shouting at us in a foreign language all this stuff we've had to bring with us as well. Let's go anyway. I don't know why I'm talking yeah. about stuff. Let's just go. So I've just got past the gates. And he's come all the way along. Where the dog barking. I'm out of breath. It's not so much, we've done so much today already, aren't we, climbing and yeah. things that I'm exhausted. So, we just need to get the fuck out of here. So we'll probably see you back at the car. Well, that was eventful. <laughs> just a little bit. I'm absolutely exhausted. Sweating now. Yeah, it's warmed me up from being in that water, I'll tell you that much. So basically, the guy, as you saw, was coming in the Land Rover, but luckily the ground was quite like, undulating, weren't it? And he, mm. were, he was taking his time. So, because normally I can't outrun a car, but on this occasion we didn't do bad. So he came and unlocked the gate at the end. Um, I could hear the dog, but I think he was controlling the dog as we legged it, and we legged it in the opposite direction to where we went on the corner, didn't we? Yeah, we went up a, up a different way to where we'd come. So we found a way over a wall, absolutely covered in anti-climb paint now as well. So dog shit, I think. It smells awful. I, I do smell like dog shit. I swear. Is I'm, it you or is it me? I don't know. One of us does. I keep getting a whiff of it. I do. I got more of a whiff now while I've got in the car. Mm. In confined space, I can smell it. Mm. But, yeah, so... Mr. Army Man in his in his army uniform, in his army vehicle. And his army dog. He's probably still looking for us. We've driven just round the corner, aren't we? We're not far away, but no. I don't want to hang around here too much longer, to be honest. I think we should get out of it. And we're like literally right next to a big... We were saying about the shooting earlier on, weren't we? That's a big base. Well, it's an RAF base, or...? Well, it's not RAF. Not RAF, but Air Force. Yeah. Some sort of Air Force. So, <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna go and do some. No, I'm not saying the word S P Y because we're gonna have a look. Because if people look back at our footage, if we get a stuff took off us, <laughs> and I'm saying that S P Y word, not that they can't spell. I don't know why. That makes it a big difference. Like yeah. Spelling it out and saying it. Yeah, definitely. That would know you say. I know, but I've been holding it for about three minutes. So. It's like when you piss. Old man piss. Oh, I've just got to let it go. It's dropping out bit by bit. Yeah, dribble. Yeah. Captain Slack bladder. Saying that I pissed on my shoe again earlier. You've had more pisses than me today. I've pissed constantly for two days. I don't know what's up with me. Anyway. we put this back up again after yeah, we had a, that one yeah, out. Yeah, we had a sleep <laughs> earlier on. We're so tired from climbing and... You know what? Lack of sleep last night. Because I went to sleep at about two and then woke up at seven. And it was a long day yesterday. A long day well. yesterday. Anyway, oh, there was somebody I was supposed to be mentioning. Somebody and his wife. Hmm. I'll try and remember and come back on in a minute and, and mention you. Oh. Somebody and his wife. <coughs> oh, God. Anyway, say in a bit. I'm doing, you mentioned somebody and his wife. Like, because normally it's like, 
Don't let me forget, I've got to mention so and so and so and so, but you've never mentioned it. Well, they commented on the Facebook page. If you're not on our Facebook, get across, and what you can do is you can say, mention me in the video, and then I'll fucking forget who you are. So, good idea. So, anyway, I was going to say, don't forget about our live on Sunday, but this will be out after gone. it. Yeah, this will be done after, so anyway, I'm going to shut up now. Yeah. So, we will see you soon. We are. I don't know what we're doing now. I don't know if we're heading back towards Tallinn or what we're doing, but we will see you Have later. a drive around for half an hour. Yeah. Probably going SPY on the army base. Yeah. Bye. See you later. Bye-bye. Yeah. See you in a bit. Be sure to subscribe and press that bell icon for all the latest updates.